that purpose. McIntosh, in her remarks on Sunday, expressed gratitude for the recognition that she received, telling the audience that she felt overwhelmed by the support. She went on to declare that despite the challenges faced during her tenure in the education system, the reward was enough. Kiria wins St. Mary title as B-Buzz returns. After a two-year hiatus because of the coronavirus pandemic, the sponsors, coaches, and spellers were buzzing with excitement on Monday as the 62nd staging of the Gleaners Children's Own Spelling Bee competition got underway. 17 students lined up before spell mistress Marlene Stevenson Daly at the Emmanuel Baptist Church in St. Mary to get things going with the first word, ability. After seven rounds of spelling, the top five Bs were announced and Nathaniel Campbell of Bromley Primary was named top boy. Down to the wire, Kyria Hind of Anata Bay High and Alexandre Lawrence of Donington Primary went head to head for several rounds before Alexandre misspelled the word gaggle. The word passed to Kyria who correctly spelt it before also successfully reeling off the letters gazebo for her winning word. Kyria's victory was met with thunderous applause as she hugged her spellmate. Kyria said that it did not take long to prepare for the spell down, with most of the work done over the summer holidays after her mom saw the competition being advertised and inquired whether she would like to participate. When her mom bought the Spelling Bee book, she took to studying. Help came by way of Carrie Ann Green, Kyria's grade 1 teacher when she attended Enfield Primary. Green is not new to coaching or producing winners in the parish. The Anato Bay High student is a bright star in her first form class and loves reading and researching new things. Kyria also enjoys watching educational YouTube videos. That's it for Woman in the News. I'm Roby. Thank you, Roby. Two stories about women, conversations to have later on. At the Jamaica Customs Agency. Oh, it's 31 degrees Celsius in Kingston, Jamaica, but it feels like 37. Out west in Montego Bay, it's 28 degrees, but it feels like 34. It's hot. Uh, thank you, Instagram, for being here. I'm hearing there's a crazy accident right now, bike accident on Olivier Road. The rider is, seems dead. Um, please be safe out there. It's terrible. I'm just getting this one in. Uh, what I tell you? No, the guest is on here. Okay. Um, beg your tissue. Welcome to the show again. This is Every Woman with me, Empress Golding, and thank you uh, for tuning in wherever you're tuned in on Instagram Live. We're going to end the live now and ask you to head on over to the YouTube channel for the rest of the show. Just look for Nationwide 90 FM. I'm getting a report coming in here from my Jamaican listeners that there is a terrible bike accident on Olivier Road. The rider seems to be dead, and I'm just saying. Uh, 
boy apparently the rider broke the stoplight and i'm just saying as it's coming into me please be safe out there you can't drive for yourself you have to also drive for other people so olivier road a terrible bike accident happening right now so if you're heading in that direction you may want to take a different route be safe out there all right um oh gosh Boy, the road fatalities are really crazy right now really crazy be safe out there it is a brand new day it's a thursday it's a state of something so on the lunch show today we're we're talking about our heart we're gonna dis discuss the state of heart health in jamaica it's world heart day how's your heart people how's your heart and it's being observed under the theme use heart for every heart what does that mean let's welcome our show to Welcome on the show today, Deborah Chen, Executive Director, Heart Foundation of Jamaica, and no stranger to this show. Hello, Deborah. How are you? Excellent. Thank you so much for being here. Let's talk about our heart. Let's look at the state of our heart in Jamaica. How are we affected with ill heart health in Jamaica? Well, 